All right, today I'm here with Lucy and we are doing a cool, a cool, I like, these are more of like art, these animations, I feel like. Yeah, it's a GIF, but it's gonna be the Nikon Z6 spinning above my head and it's gonna look so cool. Move sense. it ever so slightly. Yeah, and every time you move it, step out. Okay. And try to keep word Nikon in about the same place and that's what we'll have it spin around. Oh, okay, cool. My old roommate Lucy makes these really cool little like digital animations. She gets hired by different festivals and um, she, they are so cool. You guys should totally check out her Instagram. I'll link it down below. And so we wanted to do a cool animation with the Z6 and we spent a few hours, a few hours. Okay, we finished the spinning camera part. Now I have to pose and just be like, there's a camera spinning above my head. Cool. We had two that we made, but didn't really like. Yeah. So we edited together the little camera spinning over my head. And like, it was cool, but it wasn't like, oh my God, that's no. so cool. Oh my God, I have to like tag my friend in it because it's so cool. So. No, this is like, this is the creative process. Yeah. It's trial and error. Definitely. So honestly, I'm used to it. I feel like it used to bother me. Like I'm like, I don't like it, but I'm like, I kind of expect the first drop to suck. So we came to this rooftop to get a hyperlapse. Okay. Yeah. And the third one, we we actually thought was pretty cool. It was a basic hyperlapse. Without further ado, here's the finished little animation that we made. I really like this one because I think that the stairs look so cool. Like, I just love that staircase. Anyway, today what I really want to talk to you guys about is the five to seven apps I have on my phone that I think everyone needs that's in their 20s. These are not games. These are not time-wasting apps. These are apps that will either save you time or save you money. That is my favorite kind of app. So I'm gonna start with the most underrated one that a lot of people don't know about, and it's called Freebird. This is not sponsored, by the way. No, I'm not working with any of these companies. So Freebird is a cash back app for Uber and Lyft. So basically how this app works, it rewards you for Ubering to certain places. So you get $4 in your account on Freebird for Ubering to a specific place. And the places on here are very popular, just places that I go all the time anyway. We can see it's got Good Times at Davy Wayne's, EP and LP, um, The Venice Whaler, Mama Shelter, The Bungalow, like very popular bars and restaurants. It is mostly bars and restaurants because, so we can see $4 cash back for going to the bungalow. If you're going out at night with a group of friends and it's $20 to get to the bungalow and you get the Uber and you guys are all splitting it, if you're all splitting it and paying $5 each but you're getting $4 back, you're paying a dollar for that Uber. One dollar. I actually forgot about this app for a long time. I have used it before to go to the bungalow. I got eight dollars. Unfortunately, this one really only is in LA, Orange County, and Boston. It even has some for your ride home, so you can get 500 points sponsored by Don Julio. And then you can redeem those points later for cash. They do have a referral code too, so if you use my referral code, you'll get an additional $5 for your first two rides. So $5, $5 on each of those two rides. Next is one that most people have heard of and used, but just in case you haven't, Poshmark and Depop. These are both apps that you can use to sell and buy your clothing. It is actually so easy. You can take a photo on your phone of the clothes that you wanna sell, just like this, or you can try it on. You list it on the app, people buy it, you ship it out. I've actually been way more into Poshmark recently than I ever have, but you can use Poshmark or Depop. They're the same thing. These websites are just really awesome because it helps you get rid of stuff, clean out your space, which I think we all kind of need to do anyway. Like when I went through, I found all this stuff, some of it new with the tag, but I just, you know, bought the wrong size or something like that. I actually have a ton of stuff listed on my Poshmark right now if you guys want to check it out. And for each thing, I'll throw in a free makeup item because I have so much makeup that I'll never be able to use because I literally don't have enough skin. Seriously, this cabinet is just overflowing with 
unused products. If you specify what you're interested in, like, oh, I like lip gloss, then I'll try and grab one of those and give you one. This one does require a little bit more work than the other apps because you do need to package the item, ship it out, and make sure that you do that. But they make the shipping label for you, so all you have to do is print it out, so it's very easy. You don't have to deal with any of that stuff. And what I did is just ordered a bunch of packing bags on Amazon for a really inexpensive price. You don't want to waste a lot of money on buying like a big box because you don't really need that. You can just get a little like shipping bag. This is the most recent thing I'm shipping out. It's a free people jacket. Dang, even this denim jacket fit in this little bag. So these are the move if you're selling stuff on Poshmark or Depop. This may be my most used app of all of these and it is Instacart. I know Postmates and DoorDash and all of those are so popular. Instacart I think is amazing. It is only $3.99 to get your groceries delivered. Think about how much time you spend grocery shopping. It's well over an hour for me to drive to the store, get all the stuff I want and drive back and put it all away and on top of all that I truly hate the grocery store. I don't enjoy it. I think I just, I don't like ever going. It's only $4 to have someone get all the stuff for me. Of course I'm gonna do that. You do pay a tip as well. Another thing that Instacart doesn't tell you, they're a little sneaky, but they do this. They upcharge the food a little bit. So maybe at the store you get an apple for a dollar. On Instacart that same apple is gonna be like a dollar and 15 cents. They do that. It is a little sneaky, but just good to know you're probably paying somewhere between 10 and 15 dollars for someone to shop for you so that's including the fee the tip the amount that they upcharge if you're really on a budget this probably isn't worth spending the money on but if you're not this will save you so much time Think about what you could be doing with your time in an hour. If you can make more than $15 in an hour and you also hate grocery shopping, why would you not do this? <laughs> the only thing they don't do is Trader Joe's. And I think that they really need to work on getting Trader Joe's delivery. What's going on Trader Joe's? Like, what the heck? Instacart, of course, has a referral code. With this one, you get $10. So the first time you use it, you basically just get free delivery. So I'll link that down below if you guys wanna check it out. Another quick one, a lot of people know of this one, Ebates. Ebates is a cashback website, so basically anytime you shop, you get cash back. I've been using Ebates for a while and you literally just, I'll get a check in the mail for like $180 that I completely forgot about and you're like, oh my God, yes, money, love that. The next two apps are more of investing apps. So the first one is Robinhood. With Robinhood, you can easily invest your money. For so long, I knew I should invest in stocks, like I need to do that, but I was, kind of daunted by the process. Like, do I go to Fidelity or whatever and just talk to someone? For so long, I was basically like, I don't know what to do. I don't wanna do the wrong thing and lose money. So I'm just gonna wait until I know. This app makes it really easy to invest your money though. What I think is cool about this is if you're just getting into investing and you've never invested anything, it makes it really easy to get started. Even if you only invest like a hundred dollars, then you're at least thinking about it. It's on your mind. The probability that you're then going to invest more in the future is 10 times higher probably. I totally just made up that statistic, but think about it. If you don't invest anything, you're just gonna never do it. If you have a little bit, you're gonna be like, oh wait, what's going on with that? And then you're probably gonna wanna throw some more in there. This one has a very interesting referral program. When you refer someone, you each get a chance at earning a free stock like Facebook or Apple. Either way, who cares? It's like you don't lose anything by just using the referral. Also, even if you never like invest anything, they have like news and different like 100 most popular stocks, which I think is pretty interesting to look at. So those are the apps I think everyone should at least just check out because I think they're very beneficial. It's not like Instagram where you're gonna waste time. It's like, okay, I'm getting cash back that I wouldn't have gotten, like, yes. Let me know if you guys know of any other cool apps though. I love apps like this. My favorite one is Freebird. I just think it's so cool. I'll have all the referral links and codes in the description box below. If you guys use them, then you get like either credit or straight up like usually five to $10 credit for each referral. And I do too, just being upfront about that because I don't know, I feel weird not saying it. We both just get something out of it. If you really don't wanna use it, you can just go to the website, but it helps me out if you guys use it and it helps you out. So, you know, just 
just helping each other out. All right, that is it for this video. I'm almost done editing it and I'm so sick of looking at and hearing myself talk. So I'm going to end it here. I'll see you guys in my next vlog, which will probably be more of just like an update everyday life video. Uh, subscribe if you aren't yet. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.